Seth Jackson told us about in that fourth quarter how you guys were able to kind of cover. When you see KD go down, what was just the message overall as a team and how you guys were able to rally? Um, for me, I just, I mean, I knew we still had a chance, a lot of time left in the game. Um, we got a deep team with a lot of playmakers, but obviously with K go down, it's more opportunity for some other guys to make some plays and just about going out there being aggressive there, sending a double at, at Kyrie all game, all second half, really. So just when I came out of the trap, just trying to make a play. And a lot of the conversation going into this was about Miami's defense. And your, the offense was still able to shoot over 50%. How are you guys able to adapt and navigate that top defense? I'm um, just sticking to it. I mean, every time they kind of stalled us a little bit and going to that zone, second half. Uh, but just sticking to it, relying on our defense to, to get stops and then trying to push the pace a little bit and get easier shots. And like I said, we got a lot of talent on this team. So um, just sticking to it, like keeping confidence even when we miss some shots and playing a 48 minute basketball game. And Jock praised Royce O'Neal for two big you know, plays with a put back and then the defensive stop on the last play. What is it like just to have Royce as a teammate, what you've kind of seen from him this season? Uh, he's just locked in and doing his job. It's not always uh, spectacular or highlight plays, but he's locked in and doing his job every night, covering for people defensively, working hard um, and offensively, whether it's not trying to try and knock down an open shot, crashing the boards, whatever the game calls for that night, he's willing to do it. And uh, he's been big for us all year.